If you're watching this video, you probably already know that the air pressure affects the boiling point of water. Lower air pressure, like up in higher elevations, lowers the boiling point. So I'm not going to go into all the reasons why that's true, but uh, if you're probably interested in seeing the demonstration, maybe doing it for yourself. So I'm just going to share with you what I did and how I demonstrated it and uh, show the importance of the amount of vacuum. You need a good vacuum pump like this old Marvac pump I've got. Her inherited it from my dad a long time ago. So it's pretty old, but it does work. So something like this would be very helpful. This is a water jet type vacuum aspirator that you can hook up to your uh, faucet or a garden hose. And you can pull a pretty good vacuum with it. It's much less expensive. You can get one for about $30 probably on the internet made out of plastic. Okay, this is our experimental apparatus. Got a vein type vacuum pump with oil in it. Got a vacuum gauge. Got a line coming off of that. Over to basically a trap. This is to trap any water or anything else to keep it from getting into the pump. Then hose comes out of that, goes to a gas type shutoff valve. Um, actually, this line here it's just shower hose. Works out, works pretty well for this, for 3 8 inch diameter. Uh, this comes over to our um, mason jar with um, a dial type thermometer in it and just a 3 8 inch hose barb using JB Weld uh, to glue that in. That worked better than epoxy. I use a standard mason jar. Uh, this is not the recommended use for it, but uh, since they withstand vacuum and canning, I thought it would work, and it really worked pretty well. You don't want to put any pressure on it, though. Um, that would not be good. It is glass. It can break. Um, I used a little uh, vacuum grease to seal the top ring. Since we're not using the normal high-temperature canning process, you may not need it. You could probably use Vaseline if you did, um, but uh, that's what I use for this worked out pretty well um also uh put uh, uh i used a jb weld plastic welder in the bottom and jb weld uh steel version on the top for sealing the uh, hose barb in there and the thermometer that also worked out pretty well these are the type of hose barbs connectors i used brass three eighths inch the kind of has this little rim here in the middle is better because it gives you a sealing surface you can also find these that don't have that and that's doesn't it's going to be a little more difficult to get sealed properly uh, we got zero vacuum right now We're reading 20.6 degrees celsius this morning it's much cooler water than we had yesterday so we're going to start up the vacuum pump and then uh, we'll see what happens uh, to the when it starts boiling <coughs> probably didn't need these glycerin filled uh, gauges, but that's what I've got. Look, we're only, this gauge is reading. Twenty, uh, looks like 27 and a half. We're already boiling at 20.6 degrees C. I'm just going to let it run. Let's see how low the temperature will go. Getting close to five minutes. We're down to 19.4. Celsius, vacuum gauge still reading the same. I think what I'm going to do is stop this. It's obviously continuing to boil and cool down and try to see if I have another vacuum gauge I can swap that out with. I swapped out the gauge. Temperature still reading 19.4 in there. Let's see what we can get on vacuum now. So the gauges are reading about the same. It's surprising. We're at 19.3, I'm gonna stop this. We'll check the temperature of the water with a glass thermometer down to 19.2 now. We'll go ahead and stop it. All 
Okay, we're reading about halfway between 19 and 20 degrees Celsius. That's around 67 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to stop this and we're going to try it with a vacuum aspirator and see what we can do with that. Okay, got my vacuum aspirator hooked up. We're going to turn on the water if it's very heavy. Now we're pulling a vacuum on this tubing. This is 3 8 inch ID polyethylene tubing. The rest of the apparatus is the same. Just got the same uh, trap there. Everything else is the same. Now the one difference I've done is I've set this mason jar on a hot plate and uh, because we're going to have to heat it to get it to boil rapidly. It's got a little bit of bubble formation. We're only reading 27 inches of mercury this morning. Uh, put it back on our, our hot plate here, a little bit of water in this pan. 19.4 on the temperature in the dial thermometer. We'll add a little bit of heat and see if we can tell what temperature it takes to get that to really boil. Okay, we're at uh, 28.8, 28.9, 29. I call that boiling. We were able to boil water under vacuum at room temperature of both the uh, vein type pump and the vacuum water aspirator. Um, the vein pump does better. The gauges don't really show it so well, but uh, in past work, I've seen a big difference between it and the aspirator. But the, you can do both. You might have to add some heat using the vacuum aspirator compared to the pump, but it will work. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like the video and click on the round anisotropic plus button to subscribe. And look at the other links to some of our other videos. We'd really appreciate it. And thank you for watching.